hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you all for always being here so it's an evening i want uh, you to spend the evening with me uh first of all i'm going to apologize because i lost a footage where i was doing the intro but we just begin uh the video just directly i want to make this yams it's an evening it's around four but we don't have uh electricity i hope it comes back and i wanted to peel this cassava it's cassava not yams i want to cook them so that i can use them tomorrow for breakfast and also uh, make some shortcakes from carrots and also from some bananas my evenings vary they they are never the same like uh it depends on what i'm doing that day and the activities that are there to be done uh, or chores that are there to be done on that evening so just uh, uh come along with me as i take you through my evening routine i hope you get to enjoy it and if you do please give this video a thumbs up subscribe if it is your first time here and also share the video widely Let's take it slow, where you go, I go too And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you Let's take it slow, who cares where we gotta be You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me Let's take it I have three eggs, but I think I need four. So I'm going to use 
so that you can use two in in the banana and two in the carrot. So we will start with the carrot first. Yeah, I will be grating these carrots here. With the bananas, I'm using the same ingredient as I used on the carrot, but I will uh, be adding some cardamom inside there, some cardamom powder inside the uh, banana shortcakes. These are shortcakes, not uh, cakes, not the actual cakes, that, as I mentioned while I was talking on the video. It's about, it's uh, actually shortcakes. So I'm making shortcakes from the both the banana and the carrots. And I'm um, adding some all-purpose flour. I don't have self-rising. That is why I'm using all-purpose flour plus the, the baking soda. I always uh, go easy with baking soda so that we don't get some weird taste when we are baking the... After we've baked the... the or, or whatever we are baking. So I've mixed everything well and then I'm going to just uh, mix it until the dough comes together. We are not going to have it runny just until the dough comes together.
Let's take it slow. Where you go, I go to. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow. Who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me. Let's take it. check and see how far it is wow yeah so i'll still cover them and let them uh cook evenly before i can uncover them and then let them brown i want to cook some gideri so that we can be using for breakfast so i want to remove the mess from the cups and then i have some soaked beans so i'm going to cook the gideri but first of all well, let me uh, remove them and then i'll be cooking them Take it slow, where you go, I go too. 
And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow. Who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me. Let's take it I love the turnout so i'm going to let them cool down before i can cut through but uh this i'm storing for tomorrow i'm not going to uh, use them today so let me go and unhang the clothes i washed yesterday Take it slow, where you go, I go to. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow, who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me. Let's take it Taking on water, yeah, we're sinking now. 
You're looking all concerned Like we're going to drown But we both know how to swim No worries, let's go for now Let's take it slow Where you go, I go too And if you hit the bottom I'm going down with you Let's take it slow Who cares where we gotta be You know you'll have a good time Wherever you're with me Let's take it I haven't told you something. I DIY'd this vase. I'm yet to finish it. I ran out of whatever I was uh, making it with. So this is a macrane cord. So I used the macrane cord just to DIY this vase. I didn't want to see the all white uh, in my house. <laughs> I'm tired of all white. I can only blend white with other colors. So I got the macrane cord in a neutral color. I love it it's a bit off-white yeah and the vest looks beautiful by the way looks beautiful I'm yet to finish it when I get uh, more glue sticks when I get more glue sticks I'll finish it and it will look very very beautiful yeah I DIY'd the entire vest like the entire vest that is how it looks like and it looks more presentable and more beautiful these have cooled down and let me tell you, before I could even show you on camera, I had tested. And this, the carrot one, tastes so good. I haven't tested the banana one, but I'm very sure they're delicious because it is not my first trial. Mm -hmm. They taste so good. So good. <laughs> I love shortcakes when I make them like this. They taste so good. So I'm going to store them to put some in this container and this container. I don't know if they are going to fit. I did not even show you the inside. Look at that. A little bit moist, but very, very delicious. Yeah. Let me tell you, molasses is so good. If you are not somebody who loves using sugar, white sugar, just use molasses. It will give you good result. I know the taste is a bit different, but the sugar is still the same, but the nutritional benefit is different. You can't compare this with the refined sugar. So instead of even brown sugar, just use molasses. I love it. I love uh, when I use it with the, the, the uh, banana and also the carrot shortcakes. Taking on water, y'all yeah, was sinking now. You 
Um, I want to make dinner, but I'll start by soaking my aubergine that I'm going to cut into uh, inside salty water. The what the salt that I've added into the bowl, so I'm going to add some cold water and then soak to cut aubergine. For the reason for me uh, to do that is because I don't want the the oxidation to continue happening while the aubergine is just on the surface. So for me to stop the oxidation, I have to cut them into smaller pieces and put inside the water. That is a hack I just learned on my own because I see other people just uh, sprinkling salt and I decided just to soak them inside that water. I've been keeping this for a while in the fridge. I roasted it, so I will be using this as well. I want to also use the lentil, lentils, not lentils, the lentils. It's very dirty, but I'm going to wash it. Is it marination? Let me say adding some ingredients into these chopped potatoes. These are potatoes, so I'm adding a little bit of soy sauce. Let me say a quarter teaspoonful, and then a little bit of uh, onion powder and a little bit of uh, garlic powder, and of course, some salt, oil. I'm going to toast this. I'm going to use an air fryer to make the potatoes. I air fried some potatoes here yesterday. 
So I'm gonna fry this as well. For 15 minutes, as I keep checking, I will be removing after every five minutes, toss, return, toss, return. I want to mix a paste here that I want to use in making these foods over here. So I'm going to use a little bit of uh, other spices. So I will be adding some curry powder inside there because we know turmeric is like a medicine. So I will be adding a little bit of turmeric. And today we shall be adding some uh, black pepper. Rice flour. I've written brown flour, but this is rice flour. So I'm going to use like a one and a half a tablespoonful. And then I'm going to use quarter teaspoonful of uh, curry powder, a pinch of uh, black pepper, so I'm using the behind of the tablespoon, and I will use half teaspoonful of turmeric powder and a little bit of uh, salt, that is half teaspoonful. And then I'm going to, if you don't know how to use this spoon in measuring everything, just use the smaller spoon so that you can get the accurate measurements. As for this, I'm just using almost half tablespoon full. It's even finished. As I said before, I get little, uh, uh, what, garlic powder so that you can go through it very fast to avoid oxidation. And I'm going to add in some onion powder so this one I'm going to use almost uh, full of a tablespoon, tablespoon, yeah, I've added the salt, yeah, I've added everything. So I'm going to mix this well. Then add in some water, cold water. Give it a good mix to form a paste. It can be runny, it can be thick, but I prefer it to be runny. It will thicken inside the food. Yeah, and this is the paste we have looks delicious already and we haven't even cooked it so this is what i'm going to use in cooking my food let me add a little bit of the remaining water so i'm going to add is uh in some little bit of oil into my cooking pot so this other side i'm still cooking gideri let's take it slow where you go i go to and if you hit the bottom i'm going down with you let's take it slow who cares where we gotta be you know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me let's take it I had initially milled some wheat that I had in the house, so I'm making some flatbread from that uh, flour, and I love the flatbread. Like I don't need to use oil, just a little bit if need. Be. me how we got here 
Guess you don't know how you say we're taking on water. Yeah, we're sinking now. You're looking all concerned, like we're gonna drown. But we both know how to swim. No worries, let's go for now. Let's take it slow. Where you go, I go too. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow. Who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me. Let's take it a mixture to put inside this salad over here. Let me call it a salad. And then I have some mayo. <coughs> then I'm going to add uh, onion powder inside here. Just a little bit. Give it a mix. Days I hate you, but baby, you're still 